Unilateral anterior posterior mobilization of the cervical spine. What does the evidence say about cervical mobilizations? Cervical mobilization produces immediate short term improvements in neck pain, according to Gross et al. 2010. Maitland mobilizations provide immediate and sustained 12 weeks reductions in chronic cervicogenic dizziness, according to Reed et al. 2014. There was a greater cervical spine range of movement in four directions for the passive mobilization group compared to placebo. There were no adverse effects and these results provide evidence that mobilizations have long-term beneficial effects in the treatment of chronic cervicogenic dizziness, according to Reed et al. 2015. This is a Maitland mobilization technique of the cervical spine. Care is needed due to the technique being potentially uncomfortable and be aware of patients with low blood pressure or heart problems because anteroposterior pressure causes a statistically significant minor drop in heart rate without causing asystole or vasodepression after the procedure. Whereas this cardiovascular change did not occur in the placebo group according to Young et al. 2014. Technique. With the patient in supine, place one hand under the patient's head for support and stabilization. With the other hand, palpate the lateral side of the transverse processes in the mid cervical spine. Move the thumb onto the anterior surface of the transverse process, but posterior to the sternocleidomastoid. Next, push in an antero posterior direction. This is a Maitland mobilization, so use the Maitland mobilization grading system for the technique. Grade 1, small amplitude near the starting position of the range. Grade 2, large amplitude. This is in the free range where no stiffness or spasm is found. Grade 3, large amplitude. This is moving into stiffness or spasm. Grade 4, small amplitude, stretching into stiffness or spasm at the end of range position. Snodgrass et al. 2014 found that a larger applied force appears necessary for reducing stiffness and potentially pain in patients with chronic neck pain. Changes were not observed immediately after mobilization, suggesting the effect is not directly mechanical. The rhythm, speed and duration may vary due to the fact that systematic reviews of manual therapy for neck pain indicate that research is needed to determine the optimal treatment characteristics and dosages of manual therapy for effectiveness, according to Snodgrass et al. 2014. This being said, it is common practice to perform several sets of over one minute of mobilizations. Here is a technique performed again, but on a model spine to show you what to feel for. References